What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest, man, professional marriage and life coach. Listen, one of the things that we've always tried to do here or one of the major themes here at The Greenhouse, right, or in the work that I do is to concentrate on love, lifestyle, and legacy, right? And for the purposes of lifestyle, we wanted to create merch that is consistent with our ideas and beliefs as it relates to marriage. So listen, guys, you can see I got on the Tribe Called Marriage, uh, you know what I'm saying, Raglan shirt, Tribe Called uh, Marriage hat, and we have that and tons more merch in the shop. Do me a favor, if you like what we're doing and you like the merch, do me a favor, stop by, get some for you and your wife and support the movement, you feel me? Because if you're not working on your marriage, my friends, then what are you doing? Y'all already know what it is, it's your boy Quest, peace. In this thing called marriage, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've had opportunities where you realize it's not about you. Mm -hmm. Share that with us. Okay, so when I look at Zoe and Nico and Mason, first and off the jump, I realize it's not about me. Um, I have a deeper understanding now about what marriage is and how it's supposed to work. I realize that the institution itself is a reflection of my relationship with God. Right. And my relationship with God ain't just about me and God. Um, the, the, the word of God teaches on how we should be a witness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so sometimes when we enter into the institution of marriage we think that it's just about me and you but it's not there are other people who are single who are watching and saying to themselves okay yeah, especially when you go to the wedding you, you know you got sometimes messy people who say okay we're going to see how long this one lasts <laughs> <laughs> that's right doc you're right mm -hmm. you tell the truth doc Good. So that further lets me know, and then there's some people who are really in the valley of decision, mm -hmm. and they're trying to figure out, okay, I, 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 my father was never around, my mom's was never around, so I never really got a chance to see how marriage is supposed to work. Deep, can I share a little bit here? The, 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 Daryl is, my, is my, my little brother, so to speak, and he takes care of all my media, and I know God put us together because he came to me one day and he said, Quince, I just want to thank you. So thank you for what? When we took it to the school, we had to go speak. We had to go speak at Zoe's school one time. And while we were there speaking at Zoe's school, he was like, this is, this is unbelievable. I've never seen a situation where a father would go to his child's son or daughter. It doesn't make a difference to go talk to her friends at their school about relationship or anything for that matter. And God sat me down and he said, you see, son? That's why I'm telling you that this is not just about you. Well, wow. Man. People are saying if it don't work for them, then how in heaven's name is it going to work for me? Right. So you thinking it's just about you. I have a responsibility, not just to her, but to God. Well, mm. For richer or for poorer, yeah. in Come sickness on. and in health, yes, sir. for better or for worse. Yeah. And sometimes we get be be married for better or for best. Wow. You didn't take into consideration that she was going to get sick. You didn't take into consideration that some days it's not going to be a good day. Yeah. And those are on the worst days. But now I have power to make a decision, even if I can't control her, but I can't control me. Right. And as the head of the house, there's some, oh, come on. There's some powers that God has given me that sometimes I don't even really understand the fullness of until I put them into action. We know them in theory, but so, for some reason, there's a disconnect between theory and execution. Yeah. That's and so when I begin to execute, I don't even have to say nothing to her because God's uh, uh, institutions are ordained in a particular way. All I got to do is do my part. And guess who falls into place automatically? That's good. Doc. I remember when we got our first place and we we were living in the apartment. Um, I remember I would always she, very structured, very clean. I don't kind of clean the way she do. I kind of clean around the toaster and around. <laughs> you know you what I'm saying? She come in, she lift up <laughs> stuff. Well, I'm like, hey, would you? No, 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 no. You, 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 you have cleaning. I'm. Yeah, it's kind of like God. When God come to clean up your stuff, He come to clean up your stuff. Right. You feel me? When she would clean, she would do the same thing. And I remember one day I was home when we first got married, and the first instance that God gave it to me, I came in and I just started cleaning. 
I was cleaning the house, cleaning the stove, spraying the fridge, cleaning as she came in from work. Hey, babe, how you doing? Well, she didn't even go and change clothes. She put her hand back down, took her shoes off at the door, took her, her little sweater off, and she began to clean with me. I was like, ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yeah, nah. I see it. Okay, cool. And from there, now that's when I first got it. Now there's going to be times where you slip and fall, but you are uh, like the prodigal son. You come to yourself. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we 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 jump in deeper later. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Am